The number of low-quality weapons in Russian army will increase. Expert. The number of low-quality weapons among Russians will increase and they must realize that they can suffer not only from Ukrainian weapons but also from their own. Ukrainian military expert Sergei Grabsky said this on air at the United News Telethon characterizing the enemy's weapons. Russia is now using old ammunition. They are not reliable. And the second thing is that the sanctions are working and creating an infrastructural and industrial collapse in the Russian Federation. They do not have the technical and scientific potential to produce high-quality weapons. Therefore, the number of such weapons that fall in unclear places will increase. Grabsky noted. He noticed that the Russians are launching cruise missiles from the territory of some water surface, either the Caspian Sea or the Black Sea. Why? Because at least 10% of the missiles that leave the guide planes simply fall into the water. And this is also a risk and danger for the Russian Federation. I am not saying that all of them will fall into the water, but this is a feature of the Russian weapons, the expert said. Grabsky emphasized that this is a practice that an aggressor country must live with, understanding that they can suffer not only from Ukrainian weapons, but also from the weapons of the Russian Federation itself. In April, Bloomberg reported that the European Union is considering the possibility of imposing sanctions against more than a dozen companies that continue to supply sanctioned goods to Russia. We are talking about a number of companies based in Russia, as well as in Turkey, the UAE, China and Hong Kong, which imported millions of euros worth of sanctioned goods from Europe that were used by the Russian military. It was noted that Russia continues to receive tens of millions of euros worth of prohibited technologies through third countries, as well as companies and subsidiaries in these countries. In February, it became known that the Russians, despite the sanctions imposed, continue to receive prohibited military technologies from Europe. Almost a quarter of high-priority goods worth 450 million euros that arrived in the Russian Federation from the European Union in the first nine months of 2023 were sent directly from Europe. In Iranian Tabriz farewell ceremonies begin for the late Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi following his death in a helicopter crash, as authorities probe what caused the aircraft to smash into the side of a remote mountainside during foggy weather on Sunday morning. Recall, Raisi's death alongside other high-ranking officials, including the country's foreign minister, has left the Islamic Republic's hardline establishment facing an uncertain future as it navigates rising regional tensions and domestic discontent. Several thousand people take part in the ceremony. As can be seen in the footage, the vast majority are dressed in mourning colors. It is noted that the funeral will take place in other cities of Iran. The coffins with the bodies of the victims will be sent to Tehran for funeral prayers in the capital's mosque. Razi will be buried in his hometown of Mashhad. Razi died on May 19 in a helicopter crash. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdelayan and other officials were also on board, all of them also died. Reuters, citing a source in the country's government, noted that the aircraft was completely burned out. Large ceremonies are planned in Tehran's enormous Grand Mosala Mosque on Wednesday. The loss of Razi, a conservative hardliner and protege Ayatollah Khamenei, is expected to sow further uncertainty in a country already buckling under significant economic and political strain, with tensions with nearby Israel at a dangerous high. His death triggered both domestic and international reactions, with several of Iran's autocratic partners sending both condolences and effusive praise. <laughs> I'm not